Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Ilya, but you know me as Iluti. Or maybe you still don't know anything about me. Anyway, in the video today, I will show you my favorite three crosshairs. Why do I have three? Why I'm not using just one? I will share the reasons with you. Also, I will start doing shoutouts on my videos. And I will be choosing the people from my subscribers on a random way. So make sure you are subscribed in order to have a chance for a shoutout. Now, let's get to the point. The main reason to use more than one crosshair are just to refresh my reactions and my aims. We all have these days where our bullets just refuse to hit the target. And you know from my live streams I have so many of these days. I noticed that in these moments changing the crosshair is kind of helping me. This might be completely bull, I might just be crazy saying it, but it does feel that way, like it helps me. But why do I have three? Instead I could have just two, right? I have three just because I really like all these three. There isn't any other reason. Let me know in the comments what is your favorite crosshair setting. Let's see which one is my first one and when I'm using it. For example, I use it on this first play. The settings are the following. We have inner line opacity 1, we have inner line length 3, we have inner line thickness 1, and we have inner line offset 1. This crosshair looks small at the sides. It isn't super easy for tracking on the monitor, especially if you are far from it. But I feel really good using it. Maybe for me, personally, it is the small mid one of my pack. I am using it when I am super confident in my aim and play, like you saw in the first one. Because it's thin, the focus to get the crosshair placement right is harder. Or at least, it is harder for me. Maybe, for some of you, it would be easier, I have no idea, you need to tell me that. But I know for sure, it is absolute pleasure for me when I am getting these headshots, especially with the sheriff. So let's go to the next settings now. The second one is the bigger brother of the first one. Let's see the settings now. We have inner line opacity 1 again, we have inner line length 4, we have inner line thickness 2 and we have inner line offset 2. I am using it when I feel a bit tired or not that focused. It is a bit bigger so the focus to get the crosshair placement right is easier for me. It just feels easy to play with it. My advice is to use the second crosshair if you are tired and go for the first one if you are feeling like a killing machine. Having a bigger one is a good idea when your monitor is far from you. I like when I am able to see the head of my enemy, it just feels good. Next in the list my top 3 crosshair is probably my most popular one. Looks different, looks maybe even a bit weird, but I love playing with it, it does give me aimbot. The settings on this one are a bit more complicated. We are using inner and outer lines together here. Let's see the settings in details. For the inner lines we have Inner line opacity 1 Inner line length 1 Inner line thickness 3 Inner line offset 1 And let's see now the outer line settings. We have outer line opacity 1 We have outer line length 2 Outer line thickness 1 And we have outer line offset 2 I made this one back in the time when I was just starting the game. I really like how it looks overall. It is maybe a version of the point crosshair but isn't that small. Having these spikes around makes it look really cool. At least I really like them. This crosshair is maybe to the small side but still is big enough to be easy for tracking without too much pressure on your eyes. Actually the first time I got to Immortal I was using this one. Just feels super balanced. So it might be my absolute top choice crosshair. However, I need to give you one more piece of advice. I already mentioned it, but let's be more detailed. The distance between your eyes and your monitor matters. At least it does matter to me. Like you probably have seen pro gamers and how close they have their monitor in their faces. I'll be honest with you, I tried that too, but I couldn't get used to it. So back to the advice. If your monitor is with a good distance from you, you might need a bigger crosshair, just to be easier for you to use it track it, place it into the enemy's heads. It was easier for me in the beginning when my monitor was far. If you have the monitor like a pro touching your nose, you might be good with a small crosshair, even just with a dot. In my case, just right now, I'm somewhere in the middle. I place my monitor not too far, but not too close, try to find the perfect balance distance, so that's why my crosshairs are maybe more to the medium small size. 
Anyway, I can give you the perfect crosshair settings for sure, they don't exist. Every person is having his own comfortable one. So be brave, change it from time to time, try to find which one is the best for you. Or which ones if there are more than one. I hope my video was good for you and I managed to help at least a bit. Please drop a like, it will help a lot to my channel. Thank you for watching and being here and guys don't forget to stay positive, always fight and chase your dreams. I hope I'll see you next time too, bye.